Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies, um, for watching my day job. Um, I'm kind of a jack of all trades and a master of none, but a jack of all trades is a best better. Hey guys, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate you guys watching my day job. I know it's a little noisy in here, but I wanted to actually show you my inventables in action. Um, I got this last January, so it's been about uh, 10 months that we've had this, and we've learned a lot. One of the things about having something like this is when you buy it, you're expecting to go ahead and just be able to do great pieces of artwork or cabinets right out the box. But the reality is, is there's a lot of learning that goes into learning how to use the machine. And um, Inventables has now come out with their own 3D software. I would say it came out a little sooner before we got the Vetric software. The Vetric software is amazing software. My son does most of the programming and things on here. But the thing that's crazy about it is you only get out of this machine what you tell it to do and what equipment you use with it. So to give you an idea, when we first got the Vectric software, we were doing this. It's Drew Pearson, where he um, ended up catching the Hail Mary. You can see, I mean, it's a picture, right? And we cut this out using a bit like this. This, I believe, is the uh, 60 degree. Yeah, 60 degree a bit. So what this machine does is it will go through and will cut a line and it'll raise and lower it to make all the highlights on it. Okay. This is like low depth. Now, you've got this 30 degree bit. Now look at the detail that you get in here now. Now you can actually really feel the um, three dimensions of it. It's more defined in there. You can see the numbers and the letters of things. So again, boom, from that to that. All right. So the difference though is it takes more time for the cutout with the finer blade. Because now what happens is, because this is at a sharper angle, it can actually go in deeper and it's gonna cut less material. And it's got to make more cuts. Now, I bought some 15 degree bits and it's almost like a needle. Now, let's see if you guys can see this a little closer. Can you see the detail in there? Can you actually see the number and how fine the lines are in here? This is, this is literally like ultra high depth. Problem is, this picture right here is gonna take about seven hours to cut. But the detail that you're going to get in here is night and day different. So it's all about learning how to use a machine and different bits of stuff. And nobody really told me the difference of using this versus that. We'll take another look at this once it's finished cutting. But it still amazes the hell out of it. It is literally, I'd say about an eighth inch deep, the deepest points. But this will be amazing from what we started with. So we still have two hours left. But look at this. These are, these bumps right here are fans in the stands. You can see his whole hand here. You can see the helmet. And you can see how much it's engraved into there. All of that detail. Wow. It just takes a lot longer. And you can see how fine the lines are here versus here versus here. This is amazing. Okay, so after going through the machine, this is what you see, and you can see a lot more detail. And this is actually, after it's been sanded, you can see a whole lot more detail um, with the 15 degree. Now again, that was six hours and 57 minutes. 
this is not bad not bad at all but you can see the lines more on this you can truly see a lot more detail and shadows and stuff so you know when you have one of these machines it's really learning so many different things about it, it it's it's really crazy and here it is 10 months in we're still learning so any questions that you have on the unit just let me know we'll be sure to answer them have a great day